In this video, I'm going to paint over the textured kitchen ceiling. This job does not normally take long and will last for years, providing you choose the correct paint. You can see that this ceiling is rather yellow and is in dire need of cleaning and painting. To start off with, I'm mixing some sugar soap with some warm water. I'm now using a large sponge to clean any grease or loose material from the ceiling. Once it's clean, I am then going to leave the ceiling to dry. Before starting to paint, you will need to cover the kitchen units and the floor using a good quality dust sheet. Because the ceiling is yellow, I'm going to use some Zinzer cover stain on the ceiling. This is a quality oil based product and dries very quickly. Normally you can paint a ceiling with cover stain and then paint over it just two hours later. It's a good idea to check where the ceiling and wall joins and if there are any gaps, it's best to seal them using a decorator's cork which can be normally painted over in just one hour. It's now time to put some paint on the ceiling and so I'm using a good quality Purdy XL brush for the edges and then a gloss roller. I'm only using a cheap medium power roller to apply the cover stain because these are difficult to clean with it being oil based and so it's a lot easier to use a cheap one and bin it after use. You'll notice that I'm not taking a lot of care at the edges. It doesn't really matter if you go down the wall slightly as long as you're painting the walls afterwards. If you're not painting your walls, you will have to be careful at the edges and cutting the paint, ensuring you don't get any on the walls. I'm loading the brush with the cover stain and then applying it to the ceiling. Once I've covered a small area, I then load up the roller and apply the cover stain using that. All the time I'm rolling in both directions to ensure good coverage. I'm working from one side of the room to the other ensuring that the majority of the paint is applied using the roller. This is because the brush tends to leave brush marks so even after using the brush at the edges I then go over it and get as close as I possibly can to the wall with the roller and that ensures that there are no brush marks. You can see how well the cover stain covers this old yellowed ceiling. It really is a fantastic stain blocker. Ventilation is essential when painting as the fumes from these products can be quite strong. This is what the ceiling looks like after just one coat of cover stain. In two hours time I'll go over this using Zinzer Perma White. Zinzer Perma White is a water based paint that is specifically designed for use in areas that are prone to mould or mildew. So it's ideal for this situation. I'm using a white eggshell finish but you can get it tinted to off white, pastel and medium colours. This paint is applied exactly the same way as the cover stain but because it is water based I'm using a quality roller this time which is a Purdy Jumbo Marathon. The cover stain is now dry and so I'm now applying the Perma White. This paint is pretty unique in that it is self priming. So the first coat you put on acts as a primer and the second coat acts as the top coat. I'm applying the paint exactly the same manner as before, ensuring I get coverage all over the ceiling. Once the ceiling has been covered, I'll leave it to dry for two hours before applying a second coat. Once finished, the ceiling will look like this and you can rest assured that the paint will last for years before it needs painting again. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel.